and welcome to the fourth lesson in Tulip's Puppy Diaries. In this one we're going to be going over teaching your dog how to lay down and also to put their paws up on an object. To teach your dog how to lay down there are three methods. There's luring and shaping which we've gone through in previous videos and also a third method which is luring your dog underneath something to make them lay down because some dogs are a bit wary of laying down. Tulip in particular is her favourite trick now but when I started training her, she didn't understand the concept of putting her bum on the ground. So I did the luring underneath an object, or my legs, and taught her through that. Down. So the luring is exactly the same concept as before. Just put the treat in between your thumb and your finger, lure it down to the ground. When she lays down, immediately click and reward. You do this a few times and then you introduce the Q word, which is down. I personally say down, some people say flat. I wouldn't say lay down because that's quite long. Down. Down. So that's luring. With shaping, you just sit there and wait for your dog to offer the behaviour. If you've been doing the shaping games, like the box game that I've gone through in a previous video, then your dog should be used to offering behaviours, so laying down should come quite naturally. As soon as they hit the ground, click and reward, click reward, and then, as I've said before, you slowly introduce the Q word, down. Down. With the third method, you use this alongside other methods, so this is just to get them used to laying down and then you can go on to using the other methods. I personally use a combination of the three just to get a very solid down. 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 Eventually you should be able to just say the word down and your dog will hit the ground without any luring at all. Sit. Down. Remember to keep this nice and fun, it should be the best thing ever for your dog. Use lots of treats, give your dog breaks, because sometimes they don't get it, and then you give them an hour, two hours, a couple of days break, and that time it's sunk in, and they eventually get it. Sit, down. Sit, down. Sit, down. Yeah. You go, please. Next, we're teaching the paws up. The pause up, it's not a necessary command. However, it's useful in the agility foundations. It's useful for heel work to music. It's a useful trick. And it's also useful for your dog's fitness, which I'll show you in later videos. To teach this, you can get any object. Um, I used a paw pod, but you don't have to use these. You can just use a piece of paper. You can use a beer mat. You can use a book. Anything that's quite low to the ground and quite easy for your dog to tread on and you put it out and you can either do luring or shaping with this. With shaping, every time your dog shows any interest in it, you click and reward. Eventually, they might want to put their paw up on it, which you give a jackpot reward, so you click and you give loads and loads of treats to that. Big well done. Then once they put both their paws on it, another jackpot. Amazing, amazing, good dog. And then you can introduce your cue word. Paws up. Alternatively, you can lure your dog, so you lure them forward with a treat to their nose, and then as soon as they put their paw up, click reward. Introduce keyword, pause up. And then you have your trick. Once you have it on your one object, you can transfer it to other objects onto your arm. Tulip, pause up. Pause up. Or onto a stool. Pause up. Pause up. Pause up. And then eventually you can turn this into other tricks as well. So in the film industry, a lot of dogs look cute when they put their paws up and they put their head down, which is something I'll go through in a future video. Pause up. 
head down. For your dog's rear end awareness, they can put their paws up on an object and walk around with their back legs, which is also something I'm going to go through in a future video. To conclude, lay down, paws up. Two very fun tricks. Not necessary, but great to train your dogs as the foundation for other things. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember, happy clicking. Bye!